Today what we're gonna be doing is building the perfect indoor setup to remove oxidation off sneakers. I did a video similar to this about three years ago, but since then I've learned a lot of new things. I do wanna give full credit to my boy Alex, aka Flipping Kicks, for coming up with the perfect indoor setup. He did the research and he shared this information with me and a bunch of other people. So now what I'm gonna do is share this information with you guys. Again, big shout out to Flipping Kicks. Check him out on Instagram. He does some of the sickest and cleanest restorations ever. I'm gonna have him here on the channel really soon. Now, I feature this indoor setup, aka the VIX 2000, in a lot of my restoration and custom videos since I built it. And honestly, it's a beast. It's a lot faster, more efficient. The VIX 2000 runs circles around the old machine. The difference is night and day, you guys. The old one only had one light, one fan, can only fit one pair of shoes. On the VIX 2000, it has three sets of lights, two fans, and it fits up to six pairs inside. I'm telling you, if you're a restorer or a clean up shoes at home, this will level up your game so much. Let's talk about the indoor setup and what it does. Inside the box, it contains three sets of lights to provide us with 4,500 watts of UV rays. That is a lot of UV rays. That mixed with Rejuvenator Sort of Vibe can work wonders. For example, the icy soles on Jordans always turn yellow. Our Sort of Vibe mixed with some UV rays can get this back to icy. Same thing with the Jordan 1s and Dunks. The soles always turn yellow after some time. Applying some Sort of Vibe and UV rays can get this back to brand new. And of course, we can't forget about the off-whites. This material is famous for turning yellow. The Vic 2000 can pretty much get it back to its original state. Rest in peace, Virgil. That's what the UV rays do. Now the box also contains two fans on each side. That keeps the box nice and cool. Without them, it gets pretty hot in there and can cause separation to the sneakers. Lastly, you got the temp box that contains all UV rays inside the box for best results for your sneakers. The VIX 2000 is my weapon of choice, but the Sun is also a great alternative, but it comes with a couple of cons. For example, I live here in Arizona. Right now it's 110 degrees. If I was to put some shoes out there, they would completely melt and destroy them. So that's not really an option for me. Another con is, if you live in an apartment complex or don't have a backyard, it's kind of hard to put your shoes outside and not risk getting them stolen. With the indoor setup, it's more controlled, you can control your temperature setting, and you're not gonna risk anybody taking your shoes. Trust me, I know from experience. Now let's go ahead and grab our packages and build a big 2000. Let's go over the materials. First, the lights. Each light contains 1,500 watts, in total giving us 4,500 watts of UV rays. Next, we got our two fans that's gonna keep the indoor setup nice and cool. And lastly, we got our tent that's gonna keep the UV rays contained. Now that we went over all the materials, let's build this box. box is built, that didn't take me very long. This isn't my first time doing so. This box does come with instructions. Follow them, you'll have it done in 10 minutes. Now what we've got to do is place our bars inside. This is what's gonna hold the lights in place. All three lights are in place. Now we're gonna grab the cables, feed them through that hole. Miguel, I need your help again, bro. Fans are in place on both sides, it's gonna keep it nice and cool. We're almost there. Next up we gotta do is cover up the window on the door and add this to the vent. We still wanna leave some airflow for this box, so we're only gonna cover up half of it.
we're basically done with the indoor setup. This next step is optional. I wanna add some elevation to the shoes just so the shoes are closer to the light. So what I'm gonna use is some old boxes and this old grill as a platform. This grill I found in the back storage, but you can use anything. We're gonna place the boxes inside and then put the grill on top of that. Let's fire it up. And that's how you build a V2000. Real easy stuff, you guys. A couple things to keep in mind. You wanna make sure you put the fans in the right direction. I've done that mistake before in the past. Also, the light has two options, veg and bloom. I have them both on for full power. There's also two more things you need for the perfect setup. The first one being some glasses that are protected from UV rays. It's very important, you gotta protect your eyes. The second thing you need is an infrared thermometer. This tells you the temperature of inside the box. All you gotta do is point and click and it tells you the temperature. Typically, you wanna keep the inside of the box under 80 degrees. All of the stuff that I used to build the VIC 2000 can be found on Amazon. Check out the blog in the description down below to find all the links to purchase this stuff. Now it's time for the huge announcement. We are giving away a VIC 2000. Everything you saw in this video will be given away. Three sets of lights, two fans, indoor setup, glasses, a thermometer, and some Rechuminator Soul Revive. All you gotta do to enter is text VIC2000 to the phone number down below in the description. For an extra entry, make sure you subscribe to Rishuminator's YouTube channel. This giveaway will go on for three weeks. We'll announce the winner on June 27th. Good luck everybody, this is Vic Almighty. I'll catch you guys next Monday. See you guys.